video I'm going to be doing a makeup tutorial on this look right here and this is pretty much a natural eyes and bold lip look and I feel like this is honestly kind of a statement look even though the whole look is pretty natural I feel like the bold red lips really do stand out and also in my shirt I'm wearing a pink Floyd shirt but it has some red in it so I feel like it all kind of matches and then I'm gonna wear some red toms today so I just feel like this whole look is gonna tie together I feel like whenever you do a red look you should always do red shoes I don't know is that just me? I don't know. But anyway, yes, and I just want to say, I feel like you can't really see my eyeshadow that much, but I just wanted to do a really natural brownish eye look. I feel like I always do those kind of looks, but those are those are honestly my favorite looks. Hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up, and also, don't forget to subscribe before you leave. And yeah, so let's just go ahead and get right on. To the video. Okay, so to start this look out, I'm going to be priming my skin with the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water, and I'm just going to be sprinting this on. And now for foundation, I'm going with the L'Oreal True Match Lumi Cushion. This is definitely one of my favorites. It just gives a really nice natural look, but it still covers up a lot, so I definitely love this. And I'm just going to be blending this all out with my beauty blender. Okay, so now I'm going to be going in with the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer, and I feel like I haven't used this in a long time, and I forgot how much I love this concealer. And I'm just going to be applying this to my under eyes, on the bridge of my nose, just wherever I want to cover up my dark circles or blemishes, and I'm going to be blending this all out with my beauty blender. So now I'm going to be using the Maybelline Fit Me Press Powder with my Real Technique setting brush and I'm just going to set my concealer. So now for the brows, I did do them off camera but I just used the Anastasia Brow Wits and then I also primed my eyes off camera as well. And for eyeshadow, I'm going to be going with the Too Faced Eggnog Latte Palette and I'm picking up the shade Skinny Latte and I'm just applying this into my crease. And yes, I do know that they don't have this palette anymore because it was a holiday edition palette, but any light brown color will work. And I'm using my Morphe Y16 brush to blend this into the crease. And now I'm going with this little L'Oreal Quad in Koopa Joe and I'm picking up that darker brown color and I'm just going to be applying this into the outer V and blending it into the crease just to darken it up a tiny bit. As you can tell, this is not a very dramatic eye look at all, so it didn't really do too much, but it just adds a little bit of darkness to the look. And now I'm going to be picking up that light brown color and I'm just going to be applying this all over my lid. So now I'm going in with the ColourPop eyeshadow and this is in the shade Glow and I'm going to be applying this into my inner corner and also under my brow bone and I'm just using my finger because I feel like with the ColourPop eyeshadows it's easier to use your finger since they're almost like a cream eyeshadow but not really. I mean if you've used ColourPop eyeshadows then you know how they are but yeah I'm just applying it on my inner corner and under my brow bone. And now I'm going to be using the L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara and I'm just going to be coating this onto my lashes and this is definitely one of my all time favorite drugstore mascaras. It just makes your lashes really long and voluminous so I highly recommend this. This is just a cult classic. And now I'm going to be going in with the e.l.f. bronzer palette and I'm mixing those two shades at the bottom and I'm just going to be bronzing on my skin. Not contouring or anything like that, just bronzing and I'm using this big fluffy Real Techniques brush. This is the brush that I always use. I just I love it for bronzing. And now I'm going back in with that eggnog latte palette and I'm picking up the blush and I'm just applying this to my cheeks and I'm using my Morphe M530. I'm having to look at the brush as I am doing this voiceover, but I'm just going to be applying that to my cheeks. Okay, so now for my favorite part, the highlight. So I'm going to start out with a base, and I'm using the Wet n Wild Cushion Highlighter and Who's That Pearl. I love this name so much. Wet n Wild is the cutest brand ever. And I'm just applying this with my Beauty Blender to use as a base. And now I'm going in with the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighting Powder and Precious Petals. And I'm using my Morphe M310 Fan Brush to apply this. And this is definitely one of my favorite drugstore highlighters. I would say the Essence Pure Nude one is my favorite, but this for sure comes in second place. 
And now for the lips, I'm going to be lining them with the Jordana Lip Liner and Pink Love. This is a really nice kind of pinkish red lip liner. And yeah, I'm just going to be using that to line my lips. And now I'm going to be using the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream, and this is in the shade Amsterdam. It is a beautiful bright red. I think this is honestly perfect for the spring and summer, and I'm just going to be applying this to my lips. I think this honestly completes the look. It just adds that big boldness, and I absolutely love it. And it matched with my shirt too. I was wearing a pink Floyd shirt and it just matched perfectly. And I was wearing red shoes. I mean, I already explained on the intro, but it just, it all matched. And now I'm going to be setting my face with the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. So that is it for this video. I really do hope that you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.